Hello, my name is Noah Kutsia, and today we're going to be looking at the PyJaw satellite animation example, which at the end of this video, you should have a result looking like this. Two satellites orbiting around a beautiful planet. Before we begin, we need to install PyJaw onto our machine. We can do this by going to any shell or terminal and typing pip install pydraw to install the latest version onto your machine. Next, we need to go ahead and import pydraw to our program. So we're just going to import like so. And we'll go ahead and create a screen. And we'll make its width 800 and its height 600. Okay, so before we write anything else, the objective of this program is to display animation principle in pydraw. Uh, we're going to create a program where two satellite icons bounce around a screen with a planet spinning in the center. And it's just going to show some of the basic principles behind animating objects in PyDraw. So first let's go ahead and create those two satellites. So they're just going to be like icons representing satellites. So our first satellite will be a, a rectangle. And we're going to give it our screen so it knows what to draw, or where to draw rather. And then we're going to give it an XY. So 100, 100 is fine. And then we'll make its width and height 50, 50. And we're gonna make its color green because that's the sort of style of this program. You'll see. Satellite two will be something a little bit more complex, perhaps a polygon. Now note that in polygon, instead of the X, Y being first, we're going to give it uh, the number of sides. So in this case, five for a pentagon because five is a more important argument than the X, Y. And we're gonna create this at maybe, you know, 200, 250. And the width and height will again be 50 and 50. And we'll make this also be green. After this, we're just going to go ahead and set up our basic uh, control loop. So an FPS uh, running. And while we're running, we'll, of course, update our screen. And we're going to sleep by our FPS. And of course, this just gets the delay in milliseconds that 30 FPS is. We're going to go ahead and run our program. And we can see that our satellite has been created. Here's satellite 1 and here's satellite 2, a little further down into the right. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to create lines that draw from the corners of the screens to res the, re the respective satellites. So the top corners will draw to satellite one and the bottom will draw to satellite two. I'm going to create four lines. Lines one and two will be, like I said, pointing to satellite one from the top corners. So we're going to, the, the line constructor takes two positions. So we're going to go ahead and give it the screen dot top left as its first position and then satellite one dot location as its second. Now note that the locations in PyJaw up here are top left anchors. So this is where the top left of the shape will begin. So we actually want to change this to satellite1.center, which obviously returns the center of the, the shape. But you, we can have it look uh, better. And we'll make the line green. And we're going to do the same thing. Line 2. Yeah, line. Draw it on the screen. This one will come from the top right. And this one will also go to satellite1.center and its color will be green. And then we have lines three and four, which will be the same, but at the bottom and for satellite two. So screen dot bottom left satellite two dot center and color green. And line four will be screen, screen up bottom right satellite two dot center. All right, now we can see this in action by just stopping and rerunning our program. And now we have lines drawn from the corners to our shapes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these lines dashed and we're also gonna change our screen's color to black. So first let's change our screen's color to black because again, satellites are in space. So kind of want it to look spacey. So we'll change the color to black using the color method. Like all objects in PyDraw or all renderables in PyDraw will have the dot color method. And then we're also going to make these lines dash it by calling the dash method on them. So dashes. So line one dot dashes. We'll, and we'll set the dashes value to three. And essentially what this is saying is that each dash will be three pixels long and there'll be a, a distance of three pixels between each dash. And you can specify those individually with a tuple. But we're just going to set them all to, t, to, to, to three. So we're going to set them all to three here. Line three dot dashes three. Line four dot dash is three. Okay. And we'll go ahead and make sure that draws correctly. There we go. We got our dashes and our black screen. So now what we're going to do 
So we're gonna make our our we're gonna need to make our satellites move. And remember, they're gonna bounce across the screen. But in order to create any perpetual animation, you're gonna need to be able to store uh, some constants for that animation. So in this case, our satellite one and satellite two, they're going to need a distance x and distance y that they are moved per frame. So we can move them in here. So we're gonna make our we're gonna call it dx1, dy1, dx2, and dy2. And dx1 will be equal to negative two, so the distance x in pixels moved. Uh, per se uh, satellite one is moved per frame, and then dy1 will be negative one. And we'll mix it up a little bit here and make maybe dx2 equal to one and dy2 equal to positive two. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go here and call a method that exists on all renderables of PyDraw. We're going to call the uh, satellite one dot move. We're going to move it. We're going to pass in the dx and dy. So dx1 and dy1. And then we will do the same for satellite two. Dx2 and dy2, like so. And we can go ahead and view this in action like so. And you can see the shapes are actually moving off the screen and the lines are not following them. So we're going to need to make them bounce and we're also going to need to make it so that the lines follow. But first, let's make them bounce. The way you make it bounce is we're going to just create some conditions that check uh, the location of each satellite. So we'll check the satellite's x first, satellite one dot x. So the x, again, top left anchored. So this will be the left side of the shape. And we're going to make sure that that's never less than zero, which would be the left side of the screen. And we also want to check if our satellite's x or the right side of our satellite, which would be our x plus our width, satellite one dot width, is never greater than our screen's width. So screen dot width. And should either of these conditionals be true, either of these conditions be true, we're going to change our dx is equal to negative dx1. So we'll go in the opposite direction. Now, if this condition is met, that means that the move up here violated this condition, as in it went over the screen, or went off the screen slightly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to undo that, or we're going to reverse that movement by just calling dot move again and specifying that we're only going to move on the x because this condition only applies to the x-axis. We'll say, say only do the dx with the dx equals, and then we'll move it by the new dx1, which is actually equal to the negative of the old dx. So basically we're going to move it in the opposite direction. Uh, basically undoing this part of the move up here. And we're gonna go ahead and write the same thing for satellite one and y less than zero, which would be the top of the satellite and the top of the screen. Satellite one dot y plus satellite one dot height greater than screen dot height. So basically the same thing, just slightly different and negative dy dot one. And again, we'll move the satellite one, this time specifying that we wanna move by the dy and dy one is what we'll move by. Okay, and now we're just going to copy paste this and uh, replace all the satellite ones with the word satellite two. Okay, and we're also going to need to replace the dx one with dx two and dy one with dy two. So take only a moment. And there we go. So now we should have full movement. As we can see, there we go. Satellite one bounces fine, and satellite two is bouncing fine. Fantastic. Now, now we need to get those lines following them. So if we just go up here and look at our lines, we can see that our the first position we pass in the constructor is the corner of our screen, with the second being our satellite center. Now, now that we're moving our satellite, our satellite center is changing. So we need to go ahead and update the second position of our lines to in accordance with that. So we're going to set the pause the second position like this. Dot pause two. And we will set it to satellite1.center for lines 1 and 2. And lines 3 and 4 will have their second position set to satellite2.center. So line 3.pos2 will be satellite2.center. And line 4.pos2, uh, satellite2.center. Fantastic. And now if we just run this, take a look-see, we can see our lines are now following our satellite icons. Very beautifully, very beautifully, I might add. Okay. That's good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our planet. So if we go ahead and take a look at this file I have, we have an Earth being viewed from the Arctic, the North Pole, so that we can just spin it normally, uh, counterclockwise, to make it look realistic somewhat. And you can get this file in the description. Um, we're going to go ahead and add it in. So we're going to draw it right here. We're going to create a variable called Earth, and we're going to call the image constructor. Now, image takes a screen first, like all objects in PyDraw, but 
unlike most objects in PyDraw, it's going to, like Polygon, take the most important argument first, which in this case would be the file name, so earth.png, and then the x and y positions will follow. We're going to create it at the screen center, so we're going to call screen.center, and we're going to need to get the x and y, so screen.center.y. And then we'll make the height 150 by 150, because this image is actually about 500 by 500, which is way too big. So we're going to need to reduce the size. And then we'll, we're going to need to center it, because remember, this location right here is top left anchor. So if our top left image, if the top left corner of our image is in the center, we need to move it by half of itself backwards. So that's what we're going to do. Dot width divided by 2 and negative earth dot height divided by 2. There we go. So now we should have a nice centered earth. And there we go. Good, good, good. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to make our earth spin. So we're just going to go down to the bottom of our control loop and we're going to do earth.rotate negative one. Now, uh, this rotates in degrees and negative indicates counterclockwise while positive indicates clockwise. So we're just going to rotate the earth by negative one degrees clock counterclockwise. And we can view that right there. So there's our earth spinning. Very nice, very nice. All right. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to create a line between our satellite 2 and our Earth. And this line is going to be called connection line. And this is just going to be, we're going to imagine satellite 2 is a communication satellite of some type. So we're going to create a connection line. And it's going to be on the screen. And its first position is going to be because we're going from the satellite to the Earth. We want to connect our satellite to the Earth. So we're going to go from the satellite center to our Earth center. But notice we're creating our Earth down here. So we're just going to just copy screen.center and make that this. You could, of course, create uh, Earth first, but then the line would be above the Earth, and we that doesn't look as good. So we're going to create it before Earth. And we're going to have the color be red, because we want our line to be disconnected by default. So we're going to have a disconnection here. And we can go ahead and take a look at this. But first, before we do that, let's go ahead and move it as well, because you know that we're going to have to set its one of its positions. But notice how I actually made the first position the satellite center and the second position, the, the static position. So we're going to need to change to pause one of connection line, which is done in a very similar way. We're going to do connection line dot pause one and set that to satellite to that center. Very good, very good. And now we would just go ahead and run this and take a look. And there we go. Now satellite two, as it goes around the planet, you can see we have a connection line that is red. All right. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to use this connection line. So we're going to create some text. Um, we're going to create it, we're going to create it up right here, we're going to create status text, and we'll make some text, and the text will, um, we're going to get it, 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 give it a screen first, and then like polygon, the most important part of a text object will be the actual text, so we're going to have that before our location, and in this case we'll do status disconnected, and then we're going to uh set its x and y position is a nice padded 15 15 so you know it's pretty it's still kind of up there at the top left and we're going to uh we're going to set its color to green and we're going to change some stuff but so if you don't know remember the order of the constructor you can always just use these names right here and just do color equals and we're going to set the color to red because it's disconnected by default and you know we'll set the size to 16 and the font to core your new because this is kind of like a retro kind of thing and so it's just sometimes if you don't remember all the details of the constructor because text has a really long constructor with very many different attributes you can always just specify which ones you want to change like so um and we're just going to go ahead and take a look at that there we go nice status disconnected right there and now we will go and we will, we're going to create another text object. It's called satellite text. Let me make sure I spell satellite correctly. And this will be, uh, we're gonna use an F string here to format this. And we're going to do satellite number one, satellite one dot location. And then we'll also do another F string up here using the string concatenation and do satellite number two. Okay. Now 
we're going to do is we're just going to run this and take a look. Looks like we got an issue. We're missing a position. And that we are. We are missing a position and a lot of other stuff. So, of course, you need to give text a position at the very least. We're going to make this, uh, given that our font size is 16 pixels on the first one, that means we need to go 16 pixels down. We're going to create it at 15, and then we're going to do 15 plus 16, which is uh, 31. We'll do 32, just to give it a little one pixel distance. And then we're going to do the same thing where we set the color. This time, we'll do it a little neutral white. And the size will, be, again, be 16, and the font will still be Courier New. Wonderful. And there we go. We are missing a new line character there. So we're going to just go back and make sure we have this new line character here. So that backslash in, just make sure that they're separated onto a new line. And there we go. We got the satellite one and the satellite two. So next up, what we need to do is we need to update this text. We're going to go down and we're just going to go ahead and copy this because we're going to set our text to the same thing down here. We're going to go down here and, you know, just after our connection line, we'll do satellite text dot text to set the text and then we'll paste in what it should be. I'll we'll just go ahead and make that look good. There we go. And we can go ahead and rerun this. Just take a look. And now the satellite's positions are viewable, which is good. Very good. Lastly, we need to make use of this, uh, this, um, status disconnected. So we're going to write some input. So the way we're going to connect our satellite is when the mouse down event is called. And so when the mouse is pressed, we're going to connect our satellite to the earth. And when it's not pressed, we will not be connected to the earth. So we're going to define two methods here. Mouse down, which takes a button and a location. And um, we're going to also do mouse up, which also takes a button and a location. And so in mouse down, what we're going to do is we're going to change our status text to be uh, uh, status connected. And we'll also change this color to be green. So status text dot color, color green, which is good. And then we will also change our connection lines color to green. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to do the exact opposite. So whenever our mouse up event occurs, which is when we release our mouse button, we are going to change everything back to red and change this to disconnected, like so. And then, of course, we actually have to tell the screen to listen for input. So we'll do screen.listen to make sure it's listening all of our inputs. And then we'll go ahead and go here and take a look. And when I click, the status changes to connected. And when I let go, the status is back to disconnected. Very cool. So the last thing we're going to do is to create a more illusion of actual orbit. We're going to use a really cool feature in PyDraw, which is dot look at. So as our objects move, what we're going to do is we're going to have them look at the Earth. So we're going to call this satellite one dot look at. And then we're going to give it Earth. So it's going to look at the Earth, the Earth object. And satellite two will also look at dot look at the Earth. Okay, so we can see the effect this creates. Obviously, the objects are not orbiting, but when we when you have them looking at your Earth, they rotate to make it look like they're still looking towards your Earth. And I think we're going to get an example what here where they pass by really quickly, where they'll swivel, which is cool. And look at that. So that kind of look, that orbital feel we get from that. And yeah. So that's that's pretty much it for the example in uh for the animation satellite example for PyDraw. All this code is available in the description along with this image of course. And I'll see you guys next time.